Hi guys, so Victoria Atkins was back doing the media rounds and why, I frankly don't know. The last time was an absolute car crash, but perhaps she's a glutton for punishment or the health secretary drew the shortest straw. She appeared on the Trevor Phillips show where she was asked a very simple question. Do you have any carriers to take people to Rwanda as part of the policy? She first tried to sell the idea that the Home Office was working on it, then fell back onto, well, what we want to do is get the legislation through Parliament first. Absolutely pathetic. Have a listen to this. Um, it looks as though you will get your Rwanda bill through this week. When can we expect to see flights taking off? We want them to take off as quickly as possible. Uh, and so... The, the um, days, weeks, months? We are I, I, certainly... We need, we need to get our cameras ready. Certainly within uh, weeks. We, we um, very much plan to have it within weeks. And, and what this is about is deterring uh, not just okay. um, the criminal uh, gangs, but also the message uh, to people okay. further down the line that the UK okay. shouldn't is not here to be entered illegally, if you like. OK, no, no, we've, uh, that, that's hel helpful, actually. It's clearest. Um, do you have a carry yet? I mean, uh, the Rwandan air, air company said it wouldn't carry these people. Who, who's going to take them? The, the Home Office is working on this, and so, uh, believe you me, we are... The Home Office is um, ready to go. We they haven't got one, have they? piece of legislation They haven't through. got anybody to take them, have well, they? Well, we want to get this piece of legislation through. Yeah, we have seen some real progress in the last Ooh. year with the reduction in small Ooh. boat crossings by a third, which is contrary, actually, to the trend we've seen across uh, okay. the European continent. But this is one part of our overall plan to cut illegal migration. All right. Uh, I want, want there isn't a carrier. Even the Rwandan airline, the R Rwanda Air, I think it's called, uh, the state airline has said, no, we're not going to take people. Um, commercial airlines in the UK are not going to take people. So who are you going to rely on? A private jet? One of Rishi Sunak's private jets or a, to a Tory donor's private jet, maybe to help out the Conservative Party. Can we borrow your jet to send a few people to Rwanda just for show, just for a photo opportunity? You can see here, according to her body language, that she sees it as a joke. It's a massive joke. Now, think about it from this point of view. Why didn't they put in place all the pieces and then push through the legislation? Like, why didn't they check whether it was legal first? Why didn't they check that they could actually have an airline to take people and then put together the legislation and put it through Parliament? But they put the cart before the horse. They tried to send people to Rwanda. Okay, no, we can't actually send people to Rwanda. Okay, let's um, give loads of money to Rwanda, the Rwandan government and then they can build houses. Oh, wait a minute, we can't actually send anyone. Now we can't actually use this accommodation because the Rwandan government have sold it off to people. We, we can't actually ha send anyone because we don't have any airlines because they don't want to be involved in this disaster. So instead of actually putting the pieces in place and then organizing the legislation, they tried to organize the legislation, and then as soon as it hit any sort of bump, it fell apart. Like, who is advising the Conservative Party? Or is anyone advising the Conservative Party? I still believe, in some cases, this legislation is just extracted from someone's behind. Think of something up quick, some sort of brainstorming session in the back rooms of number 10. There isn't any real planning here. There's no planning. Like, the Conservative Party attack Labour for not having a plan. Well, this is their plan for Rwanda. What we'll do is we'll send people there, even though we have an organised aircraft, even though we haven't checked whether it's legal or not. We'll just send people and hope for the best. It's pathetic and it's all falling apart. So, ironically, it will probably get through Parliament, but it won't actually work because... How are you going to send people to Rwanda? Now, it's possible that they could charter some sort of aircraft. Maybe they could work with Aeroflot or someone. <laughs> I, I think if, they, if they're willing to spend lots of money, they may be able to charter some aircraft, a company who doesn't care about their reputation, and then uh, send a few people. But this is probably going to be something sporadic. And once again, remember, the Rwandan government has said we're not going to take unlimited numbers. We're talking perhaps about 400 people per year. But I think this is an attempt to get some people off the ground on a plane and to Rwanda, even if it's half a dozen people before the general election, because the Tories are desperate for something. And in particular, Rishi Sunak, his pledge of stopping the boats, he needs people to go to Rwanda. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.